Dig, man. There goes Mac the Knife. How you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, we're back again. It's The Poem Presents, and we got some clips for you tonight. I hope you'll enjoy. I hope you've been telling your friends. You know, we've been doing this uh, for quite a while now. Sooner or later, you're going to see something, you know. <laughs> I hope so, anyway. But uh, I'm, I'm here, and uh, Tiny is, uh, well, he went to the store, but oh, wait, I can, I, can, I can feel him coming. He's coming. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, Tiny, what's up, man? Yeah, okay, uh-huh, all right, yep. So, Tiny says, hey, and uh, he's going down and set everything up for today's show. So, uh, sit back, uh, get yourself um, something a little cooler, maybe, or something to crunch on, whatever. Sit down and remember when, or maybe not, maybe just think you remember. Bye. Let's get out of here. Tiny. <laughs> Hey there, yeah. you happy, lucky guys. We've been traveling around having quite a ball. Say there, I hope you realize that this is the greatest stage of all. Cause this is the place that we started from. This is a stage we were born upon. It's no matter where we plant our feet on this great, big, beautiful earth. Why, there's nowhere that you can meet this place of our birth. For this is the place where we first met. And this is the face a little older yet. But no kidding, folks, it's a fact. It's a pleasure to be back. Say a big hello to everyone. Cause oh, this is the place we started from. Thank you all the people that give us hope. Yes, and thank you, Mr. Colgate, for all that soap. But before our song is through, this is the place.
much, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to say what a tremendous thrill it is to be back once again. I'd like for you to meet these two wonderful gentlemen who stand on either side. This is my dad, Sam Davis Sr., and my uncle, Will Maskin. Well, You know, it's such a thrill. I really mean this, and it's kind of an opportunity for me, too, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me a chance to preview a song that we're going to do in Atlantic City at the 500 Club this coming Saturday. We start our engagement there, and we'd like to preview it for you nice people now. It gives us a chance to impersonate five of our favorite singers singing one song, each taking a few bars. The title of the song is Because of You. Vic, please. <laughs> The first gentleman, Mr. Nat King Cole. Because of you, there's a song in my heart. Our romance had its start. Tony Bennett. Because of you, the sun will shine, the moon and stars will stay or mine, forever and never to part. Vaughn Monroe. My only love. if dramatic actors had to sing. The first gentleman, Mr. Jimmy Cagney. Because of you, there's a song, there's a song in my heart. Because of you, you dirty rat, my romance, my romance had a start. Yes, it did, yes, it did. Jimmy Stewart. Oh, I'll tell you what. The cause of you, the sun will shine. <laughs> and the moon and the stars and the house and the car will be gone. Never and never to part. Watch this. <laughs> All right, Green Wall, drop the charges. <laughs> Harry Grant. <laughs> I only live for your love and your kids. And furthermore, Judy, I want you to know just one more thing. And it's absolutely positively paradise to be with you like this, because I dig you the most. <laughs> and this is me, ladies and gentlemen. Well, because of you, my life is now worthwhile. And I can smile, smile. because I'm going to give you the beat and it's not definite, you see. I haven't been too well. Would you please? Here we go. I can smile just because of you. Dad, it's a Wurlitzer. <laughs> Set of drums for me? May I play them? Oh, gee whiz. And away we go. Here, study, study, study. 
study. Here we go. My, I can hardly wait. Here we go. Victor, you ready? Look out. Turn visit to the Colgate Comedy Hour. Would you give the folks your version of the Charleston? I'd love to. You dance and I'll play. Splendid? Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't work too hard during this next number. You know. Here we go. Here we go. Will you give the folks your impression of Mr. Eddie Jackson doing the famous strut? I think they would like that. Huh? Here we go. A little music and away we go. Sally, what did I do to ruffle your feathers? Every time I try and kiss you lately, you give me the bird. Listen, Tom, nobody's going to coo with you until... until you see your dentist. Make it snappy, Chappy! Tom, for unpleasing breath, I advise Colgate Dental Cream, because only Colgate's has proved so completely it stops bad breath. Scientific tests prove that in seven out of ten cases, Colgate's instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. Yes, Colgate's has the proof. It cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Moreover, Colgate's is preferred for flavor over all other brands tested. And dental research has proved brushing teeth right after eating with Colgate Dental Cream stops tooth decay best. Colgate's, Colgate's, now you're talking for after Colgate's no more squat. Brush your teeth with Colgate's, Colgate Dental Cream, it cleans your breath. Water toothpaste, water cleans your teeth. Colgate toothpaste, cleans your breath. Water toothpaste, water cleans your teeth. Remember, only Colgate Dental Cream has proved so completely it stops unpleasing breath. Colgate's cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. <laughs> Keep her from me. She is my 
I sing them because I like to eat. Sing something simple, a little ditty, sweet and simple. You get the swing soon for here's a tune that any child can sing. Yo, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. It can't go wrong. Oh, say it's bound to sound like some other song. I know it's simple, so get together and let's be simple. I don't know whether or not you know they call this classic. I love you. You sinners drop everything. Let that harmony ring. Up to heaven and sing. Sing, you sinners. He don't allow music by that river sticks you with it and you're depraved and you won't misbehave if you wanna be saved. Sing you sinner, sing you sinner, sinner, sing for your supper and you'll get back to some result. If their song is sweet to hear, I heard from a wise canary thrilling, makes a lady willing. So little swallow, swallow now. Now is the time to sing for your supper. When you get back to the songbirds, I'm not dumb. They don't buy a crumb of bread, it's said. So sing and you'll be fed. Sing do be 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 sing do be do be do be do be do be do be sing do be 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 sing and you'll be fed. Sing do be 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 sing do be do be do be do be do be do be sing do be 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 sing and you'll be fed. Think we're supper when you get breakfast, some words on a dumb. They don't buy a crumb of bread, it said, so sing and you be fed. It was here that I had myself scheduled to make a short speech introducing the band Stan Ballet. But if you had your choice, would you rather listen to me talk or look at the girls? That's what I thought. Let's say hello. Jenny. Gloria. Elaine. Carolyn. 
Russ, and Brian. The band stand ballet, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Just can't wait for no uniforms. 
fit they cried. Then the warders came down and sort of floated them away. And that's why you never see a unicorn till this very day. You've seen green alligators and lava geese, some humpy black cows and some chimpanzees, some cats and rats and elephants, but you're so bold, you're never gonna see no of evil comes a diabolic killer of beautiful women. The vampire's coffin. See a vampire's body stolen from its tomb. A psycho killer removes the stake so the vampire can again prey on beautiful women. And to complete a double night of horror, a monster's nightmare of terror turned loose in a fight to the death. The robot versus the Aztec mummy. They will bring you a night of terror. to see them, but don't come alone. The Vampire's Coffin in an all-new double horrorama show with The Robot versus the Aztec Mummy. Presented in Hypnoscope.
Brooks jumping. Referee is Riley Pickwell. Waters control. Bobby Joe Mason dribbling and guarded by Mel Brooks. Foul on Brooks. Mason at the line for one free throw. Sinks it, and the Trotters lead one up. Tim Conway with the ball now, weaving his way down court, lays it in. Two on dribblers. <laughs> Foul being called now on David Jansen, metal arc lemon at the line. Two on dribblers. on television. Thank you very much. This portion of the Hollywood Palace. Hot Rod Girl, the drama of growing youngsters. Like pretty Lori Nelson, she loves past cars, but wants to be sure about love. Don't ever shut me out again. Chuck Connors, a cop young enough to want to help Hot Rodders. John Smith, who likes to pep up racing motors. Mark Andrews, a newcomer, bringing new thrills and new danger. I got a feeling you'll be hearing from me very soon. I'm going out and don't try to stop me. Don't get in my way. Here's excitement that hits hard, packed with the dangerous thrills of hot-blooded youngsters showing off to hot rod girls. Like Roxanne Arlen, named by newspaper man The Wiggle, a thrill chaser who never stops. Chicken Race, the Russian roulette of the rock and roll set. You'll know the tops in thrills when you see... Hot Rod Girl. Now what a day, what a day, what a day. The bells are ringing. To sing. What a day, what a day, what a day. The flowers are blooming. You see, fellas, women go for the caveman type. So do what I did. Move into a cave. <laughs> I got a million, a million. Let me hear that band. Tell it. Hey, what a day, what a day, what a day. The bells are ringing. The birds are singing. Wait a minute, girls. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's something wrong. You know, every time I look at you, I get the feeling that the feeling you're feeling is not the feeling that I'm feeling. The feeling that I'm feeling is not the feeling that you're feeling. Then there's no feeling. Oh, no, no. I get the feeling that the feeling you're feeling ain't the feeling that I'm feeling. Then I don't feel good. Oh, we're sorry, Jimmy. Stop the music. Stop the music. Milton, come out here. What's the matter, baby? What's the matter, Sonny? I don't know, Milton. What's the trouble? 
You know, yeah. for years, I was the most handsomest man in the world. That's true, that's true. But now, yeah. Shalminio spit curls have got me worried. <laughs> well, snap out of it, Jimmy. In your case, as they say in the ads, it's what's up front that counts. <laughs> Now, do me a favor. Tell Big Daddy what's bothering you, Sonny. Oh, I don't know. Daddy? Tell me, Sonny. Lately, I've been feeling kind of sad and kind of blue. I sit around the house and mope a lot. Now, listen, Jimmy. I can analyze your problem, and I think it's time that you knew you're too modest and unassuming for a man with what you've got. Oh, I don't know, Milt. What, what am I got to brag about? Are you kidding? You've got savoir faire. Joie de vie. Je ne sais quoi. Très joli. <laughs> I get that every summer when I eat strawberries. <laughs> Don't worry about me, Milt. Yeah. As I am, I'll get along. But you can't let this go on. You gotta realize that you're wrong. Just come out of your shell. You got something to sell. You can have the whole world under your spell. Not your nose, what a style. Show your teeth, what a smile. Milt, why didn't you tell me before? What are you gonna do? I'll get started tonight, and if I play my cards right, I'll be master of all that it's sight. What are you gonna do? I'll not but know what a style. I'll show my teeth, what a smile. Milt, yeah. why didn't you tell me before? Jimmy, the world is waiting. The world is ready. So, Jimmy, do me a favor. Get off of that shell. You may be right, Milt. <laughs> Keep talking steady. <laughs> Say I'm starting to believe you myself. Do me a favor. Don't be timid. Don't balk. I'm glad we had this talk. Why, they'll throw roses wherever I walk. I'll not but know. What a style. I'll show my teeth. What a smile. Milt, yeah. why didn't you tell me before? Now, you see, Jimmy, you still got it, Jimmy. Girls, come back out here, will you, please? How dare you leave this handsome Casanova. Look at this beautiful girl, Jimmy. Darling, would you like to go out with Jimmy tonight after the show? Oui, oui. Yeah, would you like to have dinner with him by candlelight? Oui, oui. Yeah. Would you like to drive up to Mulholland Drive and hold hands with him under the stars? Oui, oui. <laughs> Boy, if I can only find out what that void means, I'm in business. <laughs> Jimmy, you're always in business. Sing it, boy. Sing it. Thank you, Milt. Yeah. What a day. What a day. What a day. The bells are ringing. The birds are singing. What a day. What a day. What a day. Ah, uh, let Boris Pasternak keep his Nobel Prize for literature. Look what ignorance got me. <laughs> what a day. What a day. What a day.
Jenny Green asked to find out more from Herman's Hermits. that became a hit. Herman, the well-known hermit, is alias Peter Noon. He was once described by Hullabaloo magazine as being so popular, so rich, so young, so talented, so photogenic, so professional, so charming and so successful. But apart from that, they quite like him. And of course, Herman is quite obviously responsible for a big part of the group's success. Continued success at that is no sign that the supply of hits is likely to dry up. Here's the song that looks like being the latest.
Well, that's the show today. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. I want to thank you again for tuning in, telling your friends, telling your enemies, telling them to watch. Cool. We appreciate that. I want you to sneak out there, go to that little refrigerator, reach in the back of the fridge where you keep it, you know, and take it out and give yourself a little post time, you know, a little sip, just to say I had another night going by. And uh, always remember one thing. I'm going to see you later, alligator. Bye.